Hi everyone! I wanted to show you what I was making and I'm doing one of these altered brushes. A paintbrush. I found mine at the dollar store. I cannot find a 4 inch one but I've tried everywhere and I couldn't find a 4 inch one so I went with 3 inch and that's fine. Um, I'm hoping to get quite a good collection of these. I hope we can do these more often because I really like them. They're really cute and they hang on the wall so easily with just a hook or even even a tack would work. So what I wanted to do is create something girly because we have one of the things that we have to do is uh, use a stamped image of a girl. So and it can't be mm, let's see seasonal. So no Christmas, no Halloween, no Easter, that kind of thing. So I wanted something that could be up all year round on display and didn't look like Christmas. So Mona's hosting this and I wanted to, my partner is Jeannie and I am going to be doing um, a fun theme, which I hope is okay with her, but I think it's cute. So I think she'll probably like it. And her favorite color is teal. So what I started with, and I'll show you in a minute what I started, like the background of mine, but I wanted it to be antique white. So first off, I sanded this all down because it's a bit shiny. And then I painted it with white craft paint, but white is too stark. I didn't like it being too white. So then I took Tim Holtz um, Distress Paints and I used this one, the antique linen. I originally started by buying uh, Tim Holtz paints. I didn't buy the whole set, but I bought all the metallic ones because I thought it, I watched a lot of the projects he did with the metallic paints and they just look so cool. So I thought I want to try those. So I bought three or four, I can't remember, maybe three and all the metallics, the copper, the gold and the silver. So what I did was I put this on top of the white. put this on top of the white and what it did was it reacted and it reacted really bubbly like it didn't stick to the paint as well which I found very unusual but whatever it's just and it's water-based so it should have stuck to it quite well but it didn't so I want to show you what I ended up um, getting and so I'll bring it up close to the camera so that you can see it but see how it kind of modeled focus. Anyways, you can see how it kind of modeled and it didn't, but I didn't mind it at all. I liked it. It's just finding out what these different products do and how they react is really quite cool. So what I did then after that, I filed and sanded off the corners of the brush just to make it look more old. So that was the first layer. And I'm not one for doing all these layers that you can't see. Mixed media is great. I love learning how to do mixed media, but I find that every time somebody does something, they end up covering it completely and you never see that layer underneath. Maybe if you leave a little bit of it showing, it's not so bad, but I have a hard time doing all those layers and not seeing it. So I want to see each layer that I put on there, not cover the next layer up completely. So then the next thing I did was I gessoed the bristles. So with my white gesso, I just basically poured it on at the base and then pulled it through, which you can see in other videos. And when I found out that Jeannie's favorite color was teal, I took the Adirondack ink and I mixed it with the pearl additive. And that way I could get it a bit paler turquoise. I didn't want it too bright so I mixed it with that and it turned out really cool and I just dragged that through then <laughs> then I decided I need some glitter on there so I put some glitter on it and so it turned out really pretty I love it I think it looks really cool I even glittered the tips <laughs> just because I want it to be such a happy project that I'm working on okay so then the next thing I did was I decided I'm going to take, uh, where is it, my texture medium. I have texture paste and I mixed a little bit in a container with this distress paint but in the gold, metallic gold. 
So I mixed it up and it's funny. It's got a different texture again. Tim Holtz says distress paints almost have like a plasticized texture. When you use a paint like this, it almost has a matte finish, like a chalkboard almost. Not as bad as that, but it's, as you can see on here, it's kind of flat. There's no shine to it. But when you use Tim Holtz's paints, they have like a plastic shine to it. So when I mixed it with the texture paste and the paint, distress paint, when it dried, I pushed it through. Okay, I just got this texture fade by Tim Holtz and I wanted to try it. When I pushed it through that onto the handle, this is what it ended up giving me, which is really cool. And I like it, but it almost has like a plasticized feeling. It doesn't feel the same as what texture paste feels like or paint feels like. It's just completely different. So I was pretty excited because it's got all sorts of different fun textures on it. So I'm going to continue on and then I will show you as an update as to what I've done. I haven't shown you the image yet because I really want to keep that separate and gradually I will show you that. Okay. So hang on. So in this part of my video, I wanted to show you my brush complete. I'm actually finished. And so I wanted to show you that paint turned out that effect. I liked it. Um, hopefully it does the same thing when I want to do it again someday. Um, I added paper, torn paper in the colors that I wanted. And then on the front, we had to put one image of a girl, a girly image. So my girly image is this little one. She's, it's fun. The stamp is such a simple little stamp. This one here by Nikki and friends. And she's cute. She sits on a couch with her little dog in front, but I fussy cut her out and she just sit inside this glass so well that I thought it was perfect little feel good. Maybe I'll put some words on here, but feel good type image. Um, I cut this out on my Cricut uh, with a cartridge and I used clear plastic. Then I put a piece of glitter paper behind it with glossy accents. Um, all of this, obviously, is just all clustered together. I have some I am roses. I don't have very many, but I do have a few. So I just spritz them with, I think it's cream. I can't see it from here. Marshmallow. It's called Marshmallow Glimmer Spray. And just a few little bubbles because I wanted it to be like a party going on, having fun. And uh, so I think it turned out really cute. Uh, I'm hoping to do a bunch of these because I'd really like to have a lot of them hanging up in a little section. So we'll see if we do more swaps. That would be fun. Anyways, there's my brush and I'm going to send this off in the mail to Jeannie. So hopefully she didn't watch it because I don't like putting videos up <laughs> before I sent it. But oh well, that's the way it goes. See you later. Bye. Good to know.